Joining us now is Matthew Goodwin, Professor of Politics and International Relations. Thank you, Matthew. You've been listening to what we've been talking about with Olivia, our political correspondent. But can we zoom out a little bit? I want to get your view on the state of the Conservative Party as it is. What are they getting wrong? Well, um, they're getting a lot of things uh, wrong, Emily. If you look at the national polls as we come to the end of 2023, uh, there's still about 20 points adrift of Labour. They're still in the low to mid 20s in the polls. They're still on course for a historic uh, and very heavy uh, defeat. Now, if you look at the issues, um, it's not just immigration uh, where they trail Labour. It's also the economy, tax, crime, even Brexit, all of these traditional conservative issues. As far as voters are concerned, they're just looking at the Conservative Party and saying, well, you know, we don't really trust this party anymore. We think it's time for a change in Westminster. And the argument that was uh, that was made, Emily, when Rishi Sunak was was first appointed prime minister was that, you know, he was the guy who was going to stabilise the party. He was a guy who was going to get it back into um, a competitive position. But even his ratings this week have taken another tumble. He's as unpopular out there in the country now as Boris Johnson. So as we come to the end of the year, the short answer to your question is the Conservative Party is getting a lot of things wrong and voters want to change. There's a theory that has been promoted by some commentators that this is a problem of Rishi Sunak's own making by raising the salience of the issue of migration. There's an interesting split between how Conservative voters and how Labour voters are concerned around this issue, a split that didn't exist several years ago, but Conservative 2019 voters much more concerned than Labour intended voters now. Could it have been that Rishi Sunak's rhetoric on this is actually just pushing people not towards his party, but away from it? Hmm. Well, I think firstly, on the point about salience, let's just be absolutely clear. The reason we're all talking about immigration is not just because the Conservative Party is talking about immigration. We're talking about this issue because it's become a much more visible feature of our national life. We've got net legal migration at record highs. We've got illegal migration at their highest levels for 20 years. So to the commentators saying this was a mistake to raise the salience of the issue, the salience of the issue was raised by actual changes in the population. Now, in terms of the second aspect of the question, Tom, you're right in the sense that Labour voters, uh, Remain voters, university graduates and professionals have, uh, over the last decade, moved much more to the left on the issue of immigration. They're more supportive of immigration than, say, non-graduates, working class voters and older voters and conservative voters. Mm. Um, so that divide um, is certainly opening up. But, but Rishi Sunak can't win the next election by appealing to Labour voters and Remainers. He can only really hold on to a majority mm. by ensuring those 2019 conservatives turn out and vote. So it's a pipe mm. dream to say, well, he should give up on those voters and go after people who aren't going to vote Conservative anyway. And if anything, I think this debate reflects the ideological beliefs of the commentariat rather than the reality of, of what's going on out there in the country. And I guess asking to be marked and judged on your ability to stop the boats and then not doing so mm. is also going to be a massive issue for your yes. popularity. Thank you very much indeed, Matthew Goodwin. Always appreciate your time. Professor of Politics and International Relations. And I think it is worth noting that throughout this period, you've seen just the slightest tick up of Reform UK. Mm. It used to be 4 or 5%, now some polls put it on 11%. Perhaps Rishi Sunak's rhetoric, um, uh, raising the salience of this but also not delivering, is pushing people to mm. other parties on the right. And apparently only 50% of people um, know about the Reform Party. Mm.